guys welcome to the part two of store management software and in this part two we are going to learn about how we can add to the database so we are going to open our text editor I'm using Visual Studio Code you can download it for free and I'm gonna put the link for downloading it in the description below so we're going to create a new file called uh, let's say not in the sorry we're not going to create it in the database we're going to create inside this store management software and we're going to name it sorry add to db.py so let's check our folder here is database and here is add to db.py so we are going to use tkinter to add to the database so we're going to make the graphical user interface for it so let's first import everything. From taking to import everything, and we are go also going to import the SQLite 3 library, which is pre-installed with Python, so you don't need to worry about it. Import, uh, sorry, SQLite 3. So we are going to use a global kind of a thing we can create a new file to connect to the database but for the ease of this tutorial I'm gonna make everything in this file for like adding to the database we are going to connect the connection is SQLite 3 dot uh, connect to the database and we have to give the directory of our database which is D which is basically D store management software database and store which can be copied from here so I'm going to copy and paste it over here saying the store management software database backslash it's uh, store sorry store.db I guess it's store.db yes it is so let's save it and we are going to create a cursor to move around so c equals to connection dot cursor so we are going to use the object oriented principles so we are going to create the classes we will say class uh, database and this is our constructor or initializer as we may call it self args and keyword arguments this is basically how this is uh, you know framed or something so we are going to create the labels and entries for the window okay first sorry we are going to create the heading first self dot heading equals to uh, label inside of master sorry I forgot to define a master over here defining it over here will make everything easier later so we are going to say self dot master equals to master so that we can use this in you know all other functions as well kind of like a globally but it's not global but we can use it in other functions as well so master and uh, text is going to be uh, add to the database and we are going to give it a font area 40 bold and we are also going to give it a uh, foreground color and you may have already guessed I'm going to type steel blue and we are going to place it in x equals to let's see 250 and y equals to 0 first let's create the object for the tkinter to check the geometry and all okay we say b equals uh, database for the root and uh, we will set out the geometry for the root which is going to be around 366 times 768 plus is, uh, 0 plus 0 okay let's say that this is the resolution of my laptop so I'm gonna put it that way you can put whatever you want whether the resolution of your you know monitor or whatever it, it's your choice Next, we're going to set the title, root.title, and it's going to be add to the database, and we will end the loop. 
the dot main sorry main loop so let's test it out and if you're using visual studio just press control and i don't know this button just the button below the escape button and we are going to say python add to database dot pi so let's see the error over here okay what is this index positional argument follows keyword argument it says in line 12 it says label master text equals to font okay font equals to font is not a function so we'll test it again and there's no error as you can see it says add to the database it's not centered we will push it a bit to let's say 400 mm. now it's kind of good although it's a bit towards left but it's good so dot um, equals to We're going to push it a bit below to let's say, uh, you know, 70. Yes, okay, it's kind of good. And we're going to create all the labels first and then all the entries. So we will say label for the window and for the name self dot stock equals to. Sorry, let's say label uh, name, name L, we will denote L for the label, E for the entries, because for the variables that we're going to use to perform some math, it will be like, you know, repeating and stuff. So we will create a label. Instead of creating, we can just copy this. Sorry, that was a blunder. We'll say stock and same over here stock we will say enter stocks not the name and let's push it plus 40 points because it's the perfect position i guess so it's going to be 110 and let's test it i think it's good or let's push it the 50 points I guess 120 okay we are going to copy this and then we are going to paste it everything at once so we got the name stock the cost price the selling price uh, what else vendor name and the vendor phone number and uh, in case you're confused about the total cost price and the total selling price as well as the assumed profit we are going to calculate it dynamically meaning that we are going to create a function where it will calculate the total CP times the stock uh, I mean CP times the stock equals total CP and SP times the stock is total SP that way it makes it quite easier and it is less mistake with that so there's stock there's a uh, CP and there's SP and then we have the vendor I'm sorry vendor stock and then vendor phone number vendor phone okay now we're going to add 50 points over here 50 so it's 220 270 320 let's see i think it's good we need to rename this things enter cost price sorry enter 
selling price, enter vendor name, enter sorry, vendor phone number. Okay. And I think our labels are ready. So we'll create the entries for each labels. Uh, entries for the labels. Self.name E. As I've said to you, that L is for label, E is for entry. And you can name it whatever you want, but I don't want any redundancy for the variables that I'm going to be declaring further, like this stock. I mean, that's going to be redundant. So I'm, I'm, I'm just naming it that way. So declaring the font will kind of like increase the height of the you know entry box. It's not like the best option, but it is what it is. So if you generally get the entry box, which is quite very small, but to increase it, you're going to increase the font size of it. So we are going to position a bit right to this point. This is 150, meaning we will go to at least uh, 300, I guess. Let's test 300. Mm, still not good. Okay, we will give it uh, 380. Mm, I think it's good. So we are going to copy this and paste it like uh, two, three, four, five, six times. Or five times. Okay, name, stocks, CP, SP, vendor, vendor phone number. Okay, name, E, S, T, O, C, K, stock. Okay, there is a CP and there is selling price. And then there is a vendor, <laughs> vendor. Then there is a sorry, vendor uh, phone. Okay, now uh, we are going to increase the 50 points as of above. Okay, let's test this. And I think it's perfectly positioned and it's quite big, so there won't be quite a kind of a mistake, mistake here. So I think that's good. Now we need, a, we need a button to add to the database. Sorry, button to add to the database. So we're going to name it uh, BTN ADD and it's going to be a button inside of a master with text is uh, let's see add uh, to uh, database with uh, 25 height of 2 Let's give it BZ of still the FG of white. 
Uh, and we're going to add, I mean, place it in somewhere in x equals to 300, y equals to 370. Let's see where it goes. Okay, it's quite not good. We will add it to, you know, 380. Uh, let's see, 460 to match with the width of this. So it's, it has to go a bit right. It will look good actually. 520. I think it's 520. Okay, it's good. It seems very good. So we are going to add a text box kind of thing to so, uh, so the updates, you know, like to see whether it has been added or not to get the ID of the next product that we're going to add. So we are going to set a text box. A uh, text box for the logs. Self dot set it t box equals to text inside master with a width of twenty five height of twenty. I don't know the geometry for the text box, so I think it's going to be kind of bad. 500 I'm gonna set it to uh, 650 and y is going to be 70 let's see oh, how we got okay uh, the position is bad but the text box the height is quite good we did good with the height and we need some width like let's give it a 60 of the width 650 like 750 100 points to the right and I think it's it's great. I mean, if we decrease the height a bit, then it, to match this uh, vendor phone number, it would be great. Uh, anyways, it's 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 coming, starting to come out quite good. So let's uh, decrease the height to 17, maybe. Okay, it's good. 18, and we're done. 18, and uh, okay, we're done. So it looks quite good. Yep. It's quite great. The graphical user interface for adding to the database has been done. Then we are going to, you know, put the logic in the next video. And for that, thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for my next video.